Is context switching good? In last week's video, we said that in the context of product development, it is okay to incur additional context switching costs in the interest of getting to value sooner. Over the course of the last week, a few of you reached out to me on LinkedIn and asked whether there are situations where context switching is actually bad. Before we explore that, let's take a minute to understand what is actually context switching and what are the costs associated with it. Simply put, uh, let's say you're working on a presentation and you're deep in uh, totally into developing that presentation and suddenly somebody comes to you and says uh, that you need to look at your bank account and reconcile your credits and your debits. Now, in order for you to switch those contexts, uh, to go from the presentation context to the bank account context, it is going to take some time. Your brain, unlike a computer, cannot just switch contexts at will. So there is a certain time it will take and that is essentially the uh, cost of switching contexts. On a lighter note, I hate bank account reconciliations and I dread the time of month where I need to reconcile my accounts. So what are some of the scenarios where switching contexts doesn't really help you? So let's say you're working on two features, feature A, which is going to take you, let's say 10 days and feature B, which is also going to take you 10 days. Uh, suppose the way you're approaching it is that you spend one day on feature A, one day on feature B, another day on feature A, another day on feature B, another day on feature A and B and so on. Uh, in this context, what you'll end up doing is that instead of taking 10 days to develop feature A and 10 days to develop feature B, you'll probably end up taking 11 or 12 days for feature A and 11 or 12 days for feature B. Uh, and that's so you've increased your uh, development cost because of switching context. The other thing that happens here is that in you know when you switch between both these uh, features, your feature A will be delivered only on the 19th day and your feature B will be delivered on the 20th day. So you are effectively getting both those features on the 19th and the 20th day. Whereas if you had just focused on feature A, you would have probably got it out to market on the 10th day and feature B would have come to market on the 20th day. So in such a scenario, what you really want to be doing is uh, prioritize between feature A and feature B, identify which is the higher priority one and just focus on delivering that and getting that out to market sooner and get your customers to actually use that and get value out of it. Remember the uh, finish what you start video? That's exactly what you have to do in this sort of a scenario. Now, if you like this video, do give it a like. And if there are topics that you would like me to cover in upcoming videos, do drop a note in the comments or drop me a note. And I would love to take up some of those. Thank you for watching and have a good one.